Hello, thank you for joining us today on our talk to you about our potatoes and our selection of uh, blight resistant versus our non blight resistant varieties that we have planted. So you might be saying to yourself, how successful were they? What happened? And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that, uh, how we got on. First of all, uh, we made a mistake and I, I made the mistake and that is that I didn't get a chance to spray my potatoes with uh, the copper fungicide feed, which we normally do. Now, a as a result of that, they got blight and uh, by the way, they can still get the blight even with that, but at least it, protects, it gives it a better chance of protection. So this uh, is one of our ridges of our old varieties right here. Uh, this is an old variety called Pinello, and uh, you can see from the stalk that it blight first hits the leaf, uh, and it goes into the plant, the leaf, and then all the way down the stalk into the tuber, and it will eventually kill, destroy, and rot, cause the potato to rot. It's uh, one of the reasons why uh, Ireland had a potato famine back in the 1840s, which as a result, uh, over a million people have starved to death. Uh, but with our potatoes, um, what we decided to do, you can see all the way down, all of them have blight. With the exception of some potatoes over here, uh, they're a variety actually, you can see the ones that are green further down the way there. And the way in two blight potatoes, two, two ridges that are blighted. And what happens is so, so, so that variety is actually one that we got from the supermarket. We saved those seeds and they bud up. You know, what happens is they, they can bud up and uh, you can actually use those. And that's testimony to you don't need to buy a seed even if you don't save your seed, which we saved our seed, but in addition to that, we used the seed that we got from the supermarket, which we didn't buy, but for the purpose of eating. And at the time of the year that it was in uh, March uh, or April, and we were getting ready to plant, that is, uh, you know, uh, what can happen. So going back to here, um, our old variety which has blight this is what they look like so you might be thinking wow what a disaster you know but no these are perfectly good they're beautiful potatoes you can see the size that some of them have and the taste and the texture of them is beautiful and so while you might be thinking gosh it's a disaster that my potatoes got blight don't think so what you can do is you can simply take your stalk that is blight infested and you can simply cut it at the base and drop it so that you're preventing the spores or the fungus from taking hold uh, because uh, it is essentially what's happening and what, what's causing it in the first place is the kind of weather that we get. Uh, we've had a very warm humid muggy kind of weather with some showers and it's those that's a combination of the moisture especially the humidity which is really playing havoc with your potatoes you probably wouldn't even get it if you had the right weather but that's can't control the weather but you can control your actions before uh, you get it which in the case of, of uh, your old variety you want to spray with a pocket copper fungicide but in the case of your blight resistant varieties you may not even need to use that and here is our uh, proof of that this is a variety we have it's called connect and you can see that it is almost totally so far uh, clear of blight it is uh, it is actually starting to turn uh, a yellow or a lighter yellow that's perfectly normal and that will happen later on in the year as it is right now going into the middle of uh, August. But if we go over to the variety next door to it, next in the next ridge over, it has a darker green uh, complexion on it. But you can see this is a blight resistant variety called Blue Danube and it is infected here 
with the blight and it goes in the spores go into the leaf as i said they go into the stock and it hits it hits it and you will be left with something that's not usable so you have to make a decision when you have the blight and basically the decision comes down to to dig or not to dig and if you do not if you choose not to dig and to let them uh, stay in the ground a bit longer at least give them a chance by cutting the stalks and uh, preventing the transmission going down to the tuber of the of the spores of the disease now uh you might say well uh what about the um the different uh are are, are is uh, blight resistant the way to go and it probably looks like it may be but we do not know the taste of these yet so the full testimony of, of how good they are will basically come down to you know it comes down to taste and how you enjoy your potato you can see that they can still get blight as in the case over here with your older variety and we know that these taste really really good and you can still use them but the big difference is in the storage once they get the blight and you have a uh, you have to take action let's say in the case of uh, what we're doing now to dig them up they'll have a what they call a softer skin or a more tender skin and that doesn't necessarily allow you to save your potatoes for going into the many darker months into winter and in past winter but it will give you a chance to use them up within the next few months before next year and for many people that's all that they want to do but we want to save them pretty much year round so this is where we are coming to a decision of maybe going into using blight resistant uh, varieties anymore and that's going to be dependent on the taste we will get back to you on just how that uh, pans out for us so um, i think that's all we have we'll just say thank you for uh, watching our video thanks for subscribing please hit the notifications button you'll get more updates from us uh, we'll keep you posted on how they how these guys will taste in uh, in uh, future editions so take care of yourself